Hi, um, so Megan here, and um, I'm actually sick in bed, but I thought it would be a good time to do a vlog thought, because actually in this moment I'm inspired. Um, one of my spiritual teachers, who um, is just this amazing person who walks his walk and talks his talk, um, inspires me on a daily basis. So um, I was just watching one of his videos and I just got inspired to speak about impeccability, um, walking your talk, um, being impeccable uh, in your life, and then seeing the results. So, um, like I said, I'm sick, so bear with me. Um, this will be a, a short one, but um, I think it's important for us to stay in alignment with our divine purpose. Um, to live a happy, healthy life. That's the key, I believe, at least in my experience, to the key to having a happy and healthy life, is to stay um, in alignment with the higher soul, with the divine spark within us. Some people call it the Christ consciousness within it, within us. Um, that, that divine spark is the divine essence that flows through us, through the higher soul, then down through us. Um, as taught by Master Chol Koksui, um, one of my spiritual masters. Anyway, so if we stay in alignment with that divine spark within us, um, life uh, is more magical, which I'm a strong believer in magic. Um, we feel more perfection. We feel love more deeply. Um, we express ourselves more clearly. Um, the, the, the bumps in the road are a little smoother. Um, and the spiritual tests come um, and we're able to face them as we're aligned with our divine source, our divine spark. So impeccability is about being in impeccable in all ways. Um, even as small of a detail as um, hygiene, um, energy hygiene, physical hygiene, mental hygiene, psychological hygiene, um, so physical hygiene obviously is, you know, keeping your, your body and your body clean and healthy. Um, psychological hygiene is um, purging when you need to purge and in a healthy way. Um, mental hygiene is keeping your thoughts clean, your words clean. Um, Master Choa talks about um, it's more important what comes out of your mouth than what you put into your mouth. So... Um, uh, you don't want to dirty your soul or your spirit by um, being impe uh, not impeccable with your words. Um, so impeccability with your words and thoughts would be positive thoughts, um, seeing people in their highest light, speaking about people um, it, as if you were talking about them in their highest light, um, not judging, um, not criticizing um, not being jealous or envious. So, so these, these are all, um, good hygiene, I call it. Um, now as far as energy hygiene, taking salt baths is really important. Regular table salt, one to two pounds of regular table salt, one to two times a week, and that cleanses the energy body. Regular rock salt or table salt has a green energy, which is healing and cleansing. So, um, your aura and your chakras are, are cleaner and brighter just by taking a salt bath. You get a, an energy healing and a cleansing. Also doing Twin Hearts Meditation, which I'll put a vlog thought out on soon about Twin Hearts Meditation, um, which activates the heart and the crown chakra, but I'll get into that later. Um, so these are some examples of daily impeccability that you can use. Um, also, if you're on the spiritual path, or even if you're not, um, being impeccable with everything that you do. You know, even uh, if you're a street sweeper, <laughs> if you're a dishwasher, um, do it with the highest integrity and with love and um, enjoy it and stay present in the moment and see what, what happens, what occurs, because you can see magic in the simplest of things, especially if you're impeccable and you stay in your center and stay in alignment with um, joy and peace and love and harmony and um, light and positivity. So practice positivity um, in everything you do, no matter what you're doing, even if you're, um, you know, 
cleaning out your car, you know, be impeccable with everything that you do and um, be joyful in it. So um, spiritual impeccability also means practice what you preach. Um, if you say that you believe in Buddhist practices, well, not only practice them and meditate with them, but live them, um, embody them, be the embodiment of the Buddha as best as you can. If you practice Hinduism or Christianity, um, be in that role for others, for life. Show up to life as if you are a spiritual master. You know, why not? So, um, anyway, impeccability can mean so many things. It can be meaning um, be clear with your thoughts and words and slow down a little bit, maybe talk a little bit less and slow down and use less words but more accurate words as far as how you are expressing your emotions and your thoughts. Um, become impeccable in uh, the way you treat yourself. Um, impeccable in the way you um, every day speak to God and, and pray to God or your guides or your angels. Be impeccable that, you know, if you forget one day, okay, not a big deal, but get back on that spiritual practice. Be impeccable with a spiritual practice every day, even if it's just two minutes of connecting and giving gratitude. Um, you know, singing a song to the divine, uh, to your higher soul or to, to your guides and angels or taking a moment to um, smile at a child, you know, brighten someone's day. Two, two minutes, someone in the grocery store that looks like they're having a bad day, smile at them and say, namaste and I see you. Um, there's so many ways to show impeccability and as you practice this, your life begins to change because what you're doing is you're, you're um, creating positive karma for yourself. Um, we, there's a fixed law of the universe that we are all tied into and we can't escape it. So work with this law of karma and be impeccable with positivity and love, self-love, um, love towards others, love towards your partner. Um, just today I had a moment where I wanted to get, you know, disappointed and angry at my partner. And I remembered a video that my spiritual teacher said, and he said, you can switch your life in a moment. All you have to do is stop. Okay, where is this feeling coming from? Oh, from childhood, from being disappointed. So, okay, hold that inner, inner child or do what you need to do to fix that emotion impeccably. And then say, okay, so this is my stuff. This is my stuff that I'm projecting. Okay, catch yourself and say, okay, no, I know my partner loves me. I know that he has got my back. So you just stay in that place and you be impeccable and you catch yourself and you say, okay, whoops, I caught myself. Let's start again. Let's hit the reset button. Cancel clear. Let me start that moment over again. Deal with my inner child or my, my feelings or my thoughts and switch it. Heal it in a moment and switch it. So impeccability means so many things. And um, if you have any questions, please email me. Um, text or call me and um, we can chat about you know life um, spirituality any questions you may have about pranic healing or my horse medicine but um, I try to be as impeccable as I can uh, with myself and with my dealings with others and all my relationships and um, and we're all doing the best we can and we can always learn from each other so um, feel free to reach out and I love you all dearly and um, thank you for the prayers and the healing that any, any of my friends and family are sending they, they know that I'm sick um, have the flu or something but um, stay on that path stay in your heart go within and realize how very utterly perfect you are it's just an illusion when we forget that. So you are perfect and you are loved and I see you and I honor you and thank you for listening and so much love and light to you. Atma Namaste.